supplies from your grave. I'm here to throw my hat into the overcrowded ring of internet video game reviewers. And I figured, why not start with a memorable game from my childhood? No! No! <laughs> no! Marketing can be a powerful thing. You take something, slap a trendy sticker on it, it'll sell like hotcakes. Why am I talking about marketing? Well, because as a kid, I fell victim to it. <laughs> okay, well, let me set the stage. It was the 90s. Everything was laid back and chill, baggy pants, cool shades, backwards baseball caps were all the rage. So when I saw a video game about a cool kid with cool clothes and awesome time travel, I was practically foaming at the mouth to get it. BAM! Rascal! Look at this kid. Look at that backwards baseball cap. I'm a cool kid. I can relate to this. I mean, just look at him. He's so rad. Maybe even... Turbo rad? I bought this game because they made it look so cool. But lo and behold, I was in for a sinister surprise. <laughs> but hey, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's actually take a look at this game and give it a fair shake. <laughs> so when you boot up the game, it starts with a little cutscene that shows... Oh god, what the heck is that? It, it can't get any uglier than that. Ah, good lord, what kind of nightmare is this? Now, some of the game's characters were supposedly designed by Jim Henson's Creature Workshop. Clearly during some sort of... PS1 FMV fever dream. Well, this is our hero. His name is R Rascal. Wait, let me let me check on this real quick. Oh, okay. His name is Callum Rascal Clockwise. With a name like that, I can see why Rascal would seem cool. So Rascal's dad, Olimar, is being attacked by this guy known as Cronon, who attempts to steal this time machine but totally screws it up and accidentally sends himself and the dumb looking doctor back in time. Yeah, huh, nice one. And here we actually get to play the game as we literally dive right into the overworld, which I gotta say is kinda neat. I've always thought it was pretty cool to explore houses in video games. I don't know, something about it is familiar. This is a fun little house, it's got some cool little rooms, but at this point, I have to talk about these controls. The game has got tank controls. The game, it's got tank controls. Tank controls. You know how games like Silent Hill and Resident Evil have tank controls? Where pressing forward makes you go the direction you're facing, and pressing left and right steer you around. Well, those games have set cinematic camera angles, which makes those controls almost a necessity. Rascal, on the other hand, is an action platformer with an awful camera that you have little to no control over. Why? You know, it's funny that the game has horror controls because the game's pretty horrible. <laughs> Now the levels are all places in history, you visit them in three stages, past, present, and future, which is where the time travel mechanic comes in. So let's not waste any more time and jump into the first level, Castle Hackalot. Now the point of each level is to collect all the pieces of this golden hourglass and find the exit. You get these pieces sometimes by killing enemies or sometimes you just find them lying around the stages. You may also need to collect keys to open colored doors. Now, if you're like me, you may spend a good chunk of time in this first level wandering around this dark as hell, sewer maze type thing to come to this awful swinging platform part. The awkward camera angles and awful controls make this part nearly impossible to do without falling off and taking damage. Well, at least once you get past this horrible part, you're rewarded with... More awful dark maze! Yay! Ugh. Just look at his dumb, awful face. He doesn't even look like a kid. He just looks like a weird old man in Bret Hart shades. At the end of this maze is, oh, a goofy looking dragon. 
But seriously, he looks like Dragonite's idiot brother. Ah, uh, I mean... This epic dragon must be guarding some amazing prize, probably one of the hourglass pieces. I must find it and claim my epic reward. Yeah, yeah, come, just give me it. Come on, yeah. Actually, if you could, come on. Fuck. Okay, so his weak point is not the big, glowy yellow weak point looking belly, but literally anywhere else on the dragon. Bullshit. Forget this, if I if I gotta come back and fight this dragon, I'll do it later. I don't wanna deal with this right now. These controls just make walking from location to location extremely difficult, especially on some of these perilous platforms. Whoops. I died. Huh, this is, this is kind of a neat little game over screen, I guess. It's got cool music and some Neat little animation of him spiraling around in the- Oh god, how did that face get uglier? That's too much. Alright, let's try and get all these pieces. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so I got the last piece and... Wait a minute. I didn't even have to fight that dragon. He didn't even give me a piece. There's literally no reason to fight that stupid goofy dragon. Fine, whatever. Let's just exit the level and move on. Now the next part of the castle is the present version, which has become a museum, and let me say right off the bat that this version is way easier and uh, better, let's say. Most of the pitfalls have been covered up and there's little to no platforming segments. The game would be at least mediocre if they were all like this, but it's not. Wait, is that bread? That is bread. Giant bread. Good thing these uh, these murder disco lasers are here to protect this giant bread. Oh, this uh, this magical fantasy game for kids has you killing modern day security guards with bubbles to try and pull gold from their bellies. Yay! Whoa! This blacksmith is a whirling dervish of death. Ooh, and look at this spooky ghost. Ooh, wait. Why is there a ghost? So I've been scouring this level forever, and I can't find the last piece of the hourglass. I had to look it up in a walkthrough, and it turns out you're supposed to jump into this well near the start of the level. Up to this point, water has been an instant death. So why would I jump into that well? Especially considering it's so fucking hard to do. Once you get up on this bridge, the camera crowds right up on your ass, making it a pretty much a leap of faith. Damn it, whatever. I get the last piece, beat the level, and spit out of this future science coat rack, and on to the future. Now this next part is the future of the castle, so let's hop right- oh my god, they really just throw you right into the thick of it. I mean, is this even the future? The game seems to be falling apart over here, but that might be just this shitty game killing itself. Ugh! I don't care enough about this game to suffer through this boss battle. So I jump in a time bubble in the evil piano room from Mario 64 and wind up in an ancient Aztec temple where I bubble kill this racist guy. I think that's racist. Is that racist? Oh! Curtains creak like doors. That makes sense. Game makes me feel dirty. I need to take a shower. Oh! Serving down this pole, you can't see shit. Getting hit by rocks, you die easily. Well, I've got most of the pieces and a huge stockpile of lives saved up, so now I'll go through this door and get this. I fell through the wall. I fell through the fucking wall. Great. But to finish this level, you have to scale this awful waterfall slash rolling boulder of death slash fucking fuck 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 fuck. Some water kills you instantly. Some water you can walk on no problem, and some water 
leads to necessary water segments. Oh, and here's another fun little tidbit. Jot down your notebooks at home if you want to. Hey, a pro tip. The water segments control better than the regular walking around. So the next level is uh, the ancient world of magic happy land. Oh, I guess I guess on further exploration, it's supposed to be Atlantis. Fuck! I'll, I'll I'll try the other level I have available, the the present jungle. Oh, this level sucks. I don't care. Screw it. I don't care. This game's been hurting me for damn near 20 years. I'm just gonna cheat. I'm gonna skip around and see if the rest of the game has anything to offer. The trick here is you gotta you gotta use Sonic and Knuckles cartridge as a bypass to make it work. Or it won't work. I'm gonna show you in the camera here. Is you gotta, you gotta jam it in there. You gotta just boom. Perfect. Most of the levels are ugly and not at all fun. There's a western level and it's kinda neat. And the modern day version of it is a movie studio. And the movie studio has a huge variety of rooms and it's kind of fun to explore. One thing that I noticed while skipping around to all of the boss battles is that they're all exactly the same. There's no variety in them at all. Oops. I think my cheating broke the space-time continuum because my bedrooms are broken. I don't remember buying this rug. Did you, did you buy the rug? I didn't, I didn't, didn't even buy this rug. Just would you? All right, let's let's finish this off and check out the last cutscene. I don't know what I expected. This game is awful. I remember playing it as a kid and getting so mad that I spit on it and threw it in the toilet. Man, this game has such horrible controls and the time travel parts aren't even cool enough to make up for it. If only there was a great game with Great controls and awesome time travel, if only! Whoa! Hey, Rad Dude, I'm you from the 90s! Hey, if you're me from the 90s, shouldn't you be like 10 years old? I use the Doc's time machine to travel here and give you this! Ape Escape! This game is... You, you couldn't swing for the black label? Okay, yeah, that's cool. Just, just crap all over everything, you know? I, I did just travel through time. Give me something cool. No, that's fine. Yeah, just, just shit all over it. Hey YouTube, thank you very much for watching my review. I certainly had a great time making this and it's one of the... It's something I wanted to do for a very long time, so thank you. Thank you very much for watching this. If you like it and want to see more, I'm definitely going to make more of these. So hit, hit subscribe, hit like, comment, tell me what you want to see. I'm definitely going to be doing more. I already said that shit. Hey, thank you for watching. Thank you. Whatever, I don't care. Got any snacks, man? <laughs>